Oh, hey, didn't see you there. What's up guys, my name is David Hanlon, AKA The Laptop Legend, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something a little different from e-commerce. I'm gonna be touching on trading, specifically what happens when you get a pump and dump, and exactly why it's important. And I was actually featured in Vanity Fair, which is pretty cool, it's my first news article. Um, hopefully there's gonna be a lot more in the future, but this particular one, I'm talking about what a pump and dump is, so I figured I should make a video that's expanding on it a little bit, just so you guys can know what it is, how you can take advantage of it, and and how you can avoid getting screwed over by it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. A pump and dump, like the name implies, is when a stock gets pumped up to a super high price and then it gets dumped down to a super low price. So essentially the graph looks something, I can't really do it right, so it looks something like this. Is that right? Now, this can happen on cryptocurrencies, it can happen on stocks, but there's two main things that they have in common. Number one is the fact that it's driven up by news, which is you know what causes the stock or cryptocurrency to spike. And number two is that the underlying value of the currency or shares is pretty much negligible and the entire you know movement of the price is driven by hype. A good example of a pump and dump is actually Dogecoin, which I traded and that's actually why I was featured on Vanity Fair. And in this case, it literally was driven up just by the hype of a TikTok trend. Some dude made a video jokingly saying that if all the TikTok users bought a thousand coins of, of Dogecoin, then the price would soar up and it would go to a dollar and he would make $50,000 or something along those lines. Let's all get rich. Dogecoin is practically worthless. There are 800 million TikTok users. Invest just $25. Once the stock hits $1, you'll have 10 grand. Well, it actually almost happened. Um, it didn't go up nearly to a dollar, but it went I think it was over 100% gain, maybe 200% gain over the course of a week, uh, all because it became a TikTok trend. So again, some stupid trend that turns a worthless piece of stock or cryptocurrency into something that's actually has a potential for profit. A good example from the stock world is the stock DRYS that back when I was trading stocks more heavily went from around $4 to over $100 over the course of, I believe it was three days. I'll put the graph up here. It's pretty crazy how much just a little bit of news can spike up a stock. There's a lot of potential for profit if you get in at the right time and you just need to be careful that you don't get in too late and come crashing down along with everyone else who bought too high. So I'm gonna explain exactly how you can profit off of these and explain exactly what you need to do to make sure that you aren't screwed over by the crash. Running pump and dumps is actually a very sketchy way of generating a bunch of money for a company because all you have to do is release some type of hype news that will drive the price of the stock up and then you can release a bunch of extra shares into the market at that new high price. And then it'll tank the price back down and then you do what's called a reverse split which is where you take two stocks and turn them into one stock. It's kind of the opposite of what Tesla just did where it turned one stock into, I believe it was four stocks. Um, and most people don't even know that this is a thing, but it's mainly used in sketchy stocks like this because once the price gets driven up super high and it drops down to a dollar, 50 cents, 25 cents, like it just keeps dropping because everyone knows that it's worthless. All they have to do is reverse splits and suddenly the stock price is back up to a normal level no one's scared, they release more news, they drive the price up super high, they sell more shares, and honestly, it's it's a terrifying way of tricking investors into giving them money, so watch out for that. Anyways though, there's two main ways that you can profit off of a pump and dump. The first one is obviously buying it before it explodes, and the second one is selling it or shorting it right at the top and riding all the way back down. Both of these are very hard to judge the timing on, so you have to make sure that you're extremely careful and you're cutting your losses. Um, this especially comes into play when you're shorting the stock, but I'll get into that in a second. When you buy the stock, you need to make sure that you time it just after the news was released but after you can already start to see a confirmation of the spike, because if you buy it too soon, you don't know what the news is gonna do. So if you buy it right after the news comes out, it could cause the stock to tank, or it could cause it to do absolutely nothing. And then you're tying your money up in something where it's not gonna get you any type of return on investment. So make sure that you look for that confirmation after the news is released and get in early. Don't chase the stock or the cryptocurrency and buy in after it's already up 150% because you might make money sometimes with that, but the majority of the time you're gonna get in too late and then it's gonna come crashing down and you're gonna lose your money and get 
burned out and just never take a play like this again. To make money on the downside, you do what's called shorting the stock. And for those of you who don't know what this is, it's where you borrow shares of a stock from your stockbroker you sell them at the high price and you buy them back at the lower price. So it's the exact same thing as buying low and selling high, you just do it in the opposite order. You sell high first and you buy low later. The thing about shorting though is, there's unlimited potential for losses because it can go as high as you can possibly imagine and you have to buy it back at that price. If it gets too high, your broker could force you to buy it back. Whereas if you buy a stock, the worst thing that could possibly happen is you lose 100% of your money. But when you short a stock, you could short a stock, say at $5 and it goes up to $20. You invested $5 and now you just lost 400% of your stock. So definitely be careful with that. You need to make sure that it's already confirmed when it's starting to crash, make sure the trend confirms itself, and then be sure to cut your losses extremely quickly because if it goes against you, pump and dumps are the type of things where you can have a short squeeze. And a short squeeze is where, because a stock that should be going down keeps going up, all the people who were shorting the stock in here are forced to buy back in by their brokers. And when more people buy a stock, it continues to push the price higher and higher and higher. When the price goes higher, the people who shorted here, now they have to buy back in. Them buying back in pushes the price even higher and you see how this could turn into a horrible trend with when you have the unlimited potential for losses. So don't put yourself in that position. There's a lot of people who've made their entire careers off of shorting stocks like this because they have such high probability to drop that if you have the money, you can pretty much guarantee that they're going to drop eventually. So as long as you cut losses quickly, you're gonna win on the majority of your trades if you can get your timing down correctly. One of the people who's really good at this is called Steven Ducks, and you can actually go look at his trades on profit.ly, where it basically syncs directly with your broker to verify your trades and track your overall progress. I think he has over $6 million in verified profits, um, which is absolutely insane. Just to know that there's people out there who are doing this that well because the majority of people who try to day trade and you know swing trade take advantage of trades like these end up losing money just because the psychology of trading is so incredibly difficult to get right but that's a topic for another video i think i'll probably do a whole new video on that topic just because it's fascinating to me i personally like psychology just how the human mind works and hopefully it can be helpful for you guys as well i personally placed my dogecoin trade as well as most of my trades on the Robinhood trading app um and it's just because because it's so easy to use and it's pretty user friendly, I guess uh, that's the same thing. But um, it's the first app that ever pioneered commission free trading, which really makes a big difference when you have a low amount of money in your account. Because back when I started, pretty much all of the trading platforms, they charged you like a $6 fee every time you bought something and a $6 fee every time you sold something. So if you do the math on that, if you start with like a $100 account, you lost 12% just by making a trade and that's not even talking about if you lose money in the trade itself. So it placed a lot of pressure on you to succeed and that just hurts the psychology that I just talked about. So I really recommend Robinhood if you're a beginner. Um, there's definitely better brokerages out there, but they're more advanced. Um, and if you're just getting into trading, I would probably go with Robinhood. So I'll put my referral link below for that. I think you can get a free stock that could be as valuable as $500. So pretty cool. Uh, you don't have to do any trades, do any crazy trades. I don't even think you have to deposit much money. Uh, it might be like 25 bucks, something like that. So definitely go check that out. And uh, yeah, shoot me any questions in the comments. If you have any questions about trading or e-commerce, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, let's grow better together. Bebé, dime por qué te mientes ¿Por qué? No puedes esconder todo lo que tú por mí sientes